Alright, so there's some pretty interesting news that came out today by the Montreal Canadiens that I wanted to discuss. And the first topic is Nick Suzuki, okay? Because the NHL's Department of Player Safety announced today that Nick Suzuki has been fined $2,500 for cross checking Florida's Anton Lundell. Now, for those of you that didn't see this, this incident actually happened right near the end of the game. And as you can see here from this uh, 1970s jewelry shop surveillance tape, Suzuki fires a shot on goal. Lundell gives him a little nudge, nothing wrong with that. Suzuki gives him one back. Lundell turns around and they just give each other a couple of more shots each. Now, I don't know what you guys see here, but it looks like just a couple of guys playing hockey to me. Jeez. This did not really look like a whole lot, in my opinion. But the Zebras would review this little incident during the game. Suzuki somehow managed to pick up 15 minutes in penalties, which is insane. But you want to know who the real hero is here? It's on the Civic. You gotta give the man some credit. Nobody misses with the Queen Bee. Watch him. As soon as he sees what's going on, he just charges right into the mix here, hauls Lundell down to the ice, and then proceeds to just grab two more Panthers to keep them at bay. What a beauty Honda Civic is. Thanks again, Winnipeg. But yeah, Suzuki's out 2,500 bones for this incident. Right when the game was over, Suzuki would admit that he got him in the top of the helmet, but it wasn't his face and it wasn't under his visor or anything like that and he would even go as far as saying that the riffs were just probably looking to control the game and call a penalty which is exactly what i think happened yes yes so let me know what you think about this little incident down in the comment section and now let's move on to subject number two what do we got here give me a sim and drum roll jonathan drouin how was that was that good I nailed it, but apparently Drouin got himself into a little bit of trouble today. Team trouble, I guess you could call it. Drouin missed a team meeting this morning, which is a pretty big no-no. I mean, it should be a no-brainer. So therefore, he wasn't allowed to practice with the team today, and it sounds like he might not be in the lineup tomorrow night as well, as a result of missing this team meeting. Now, in saying that, Ari, put your pitchforks down, because we don't really know why he missed his team meeting. Maybe he had the shits. Maybe it was a booty car. Maybe he was on a paper trail to find Bob Byron. Nobody really knows what went down, so therefore we can't really toss him head first into the outhouse just yet. So don't expect to see him into the lineup tomorrow night. Let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comment section. Don't forget to slap the like button across the chops on the way out of here. And hey, well, see you next time.